So we heard a lot about record-breaking temperatures around the uh, country last month, and now scientists say July turned out to be the hottest one on record since record keeping starting some 174 years ago. That is astounding to think about that. 174 years ago, we just had the hottest July on record. Wow. It is wild. And, you know, if you think about it, when it comes to Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, we actually had a rather cool uh month yeah on average and one thing that I realized when I we talked about I got my master's degree at U of M mm -hmm. and uh, part of that was um, being able to communicate climate change one thing that I found in my research was that a lot of people don't really understand variability explain and that so yeah and so you don't have just every single day from here on out is going to get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter that's just not how science works mm -hmm. right but if you look at the overall trend the temperatures even though that graph may fluctuate a little bit and even though we may have a cooler than average month here and there or even for uh, minnesota here in june or july any of those months we see that overall trend go Going up, up. Okay. and mm -hmm. that is what is key and that's what you focus on is what the overall trend it continues to go up mm. and this is just another one of those markers that we're seeing going up it was just really hot well I think about that people. I think about that chart that you that great graph that you use all the time about the number of 90 degrees days that we had I'm thinking about the month of July mm -hmm. we actually had several in the month of July what are we up to now is it 20 some so 23 is where we're at now oh, and then we're uh, today we might add 24 today's yeah, forecast right. high is 90 so um, and then once we hit this weekend we added you know maybe three four more mm -hmm. I was just looking at the potential heat index for Saturday could be 100 Wow. It's, I feel like it's just nature, like, here comes the fair. Take this. You <laughs> Take know, all of you guys who work out at the fair. It's so true. Hot though. and humid. It's yeah. so true. Oh, well, yes. Shannon's going to be introduced yes. to the fair this year, too. Okay. Oh, I know, I know. And then next week, do we have a day where we inch close to 100 at all? Is it oh, mid, next At week? least yeah. mid-90s. Mid-90s. Yeah, and then yeah. Yeah, the heat index getting better. Yeah, yeah we're gracious. feeling it. Yeah. Real what? quick, because I was reading about this, about this study. El Nino, mm -hmm. that plays a role in this too, right? Um, El, El Nino, La Nina, that, what that does is called our Enzo pattern. Uh -huh. It gives us a good idea. Uh, it's our one of our best predictors for far out long-term forecasts. Okay. So we are right now looking at a prediction of El Nino for this winter. Okay. And what that means for the upper Midwest, would it would trend warmer. Okay. So we would be turning warmer than average for this winter. Mm -hmm. And again, when I say warmer, that doesn't mean it's going to be 90 this winter. That means when you take our average temp, which in January, our average high is in the uh, you know 20s mm -hmm. at times, then you're slightly above that, which means you might just be closer could, to freezing. So sure. it's all relative, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then, by the way, precipitation-wise, it's about 50-50 for us in the upper Midwest, so it doesn't give us a good signal when it comes to the snow okay. mm -hmm. forecast. But if you remember, we had record snow last mm -hmm. winter, so, so it'd be a, it would be maybe a little less likely we'd have a record snow winter again but hey I, I right. think with the snow we're all good okay. most of us are like you know yeah it impacts your travel yeah. you gotta change timing on when you go into work but mm -hmm. it's the cold days that a lot of people don't like so that's at least the latest prediction for uh, the winter outlook I just want to say it. just for the record that master's degree it paid off because oh, you yes. just explained that thank you, you explained yes. that 